Hey guys, how you going? It's Laz here, and a uh, couple of things today. One, I'm using my new snowball, so it's a and it's a trial kind of thing. So you leave some feedback down below if this is a lot better than what I used to do, uh, which I was just using Turtle Beach headset to do the commentaries. Now I'm using this. Now this is lagging like balls right now, but this is uh, MX Simulator. I've just downloaded the full version of it. It's awesome. Um, it's a very steep learning curve, um, but <laughs> it's awesome, eh? Like it's, I've actually been pretty addicted to it. I've just done nothing for the last well, two days. I even had uh, Battlefield ready to go last night and I ended up getting sidetracked playing this. So there you go. It's um, it's different and it's quite fun. It's only for PC and uh, as you can see I'm riding the KLX, no not KLX, wash my mouth out, <laughs> KX250F and I've got the monster sticker kit there with that as well. Now I do manage to land a couple of good little whips in here. Now um, I did start off using um, uh, what's it? Arcade mode only, um, and then I, I was like, why can't I whip? And I didn't realise that you have to have it off. And I tell you what, it was a freaking struggle to try and uh, come to grips with the the whole. Yeah, it was. It was took a while. It's like I said, it's a steep learning curve. This game, but I tell you what, once you get it, I mean, I'm I'm still learning. Like this is, you know, I'm, I'm going over these jumps and I'm nosed. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I forgot simulation. You got to hold on the gas, or at least at least it's going over with the gas so that you know the front end doesn't go down. But as soon as you take off the gas, the front dips, and you you're in all sorts of trouble. But anyways, guys, that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, you know, I'm just here to show you the lack of skill I have at this game at this point in time. But <laughs> uh, apart from that, guys, uh, Australia has now been told it's been confirmed that we will be getting an R classification for our games finally woohoo it's been 10 years coming guys we've been waiting for 10 years for this to go and uh, apparently it was only a couple of uh, couple of people holding it up so it's it's really quite annoying but uh, everyone's on board with it now so it's all been passed and that was I think it was passed today I'm not sure if it was today or yesterday depending on where you're at and uh, I've only just found out so it could have been yesterday but anyways guys like I said we've always had uh, our top level for our games was MA15 plus which is just pretty piss weak really um, so it's a great step forward to the you know the adult community of gamers there so that's that's a, a one up for us Woot. anyways so anyways that's going to be uh, going through so they've got to push it through so all the states and territories have to um, put their legislation in in towards it, um, obviously different states and territories are going to have different legislations, uh, you know, governing it. So that's all well and good. So as soon as that all goes ahead, we should be up and running. And uh, they've given us a rough date, so hopefully it should be all up and going by uh, January 2013. So we still got another six months to wait for it to come through. But guys, we can now get our rated game. So for those guys that were asking me all these questions about Mortal Kombat, is it illegal? Guess what? It's not illegal. Go and grab it. Um, like I said, you're still probably going to have to buy it offline for the time being. But as long as you're over 18, there's no problem at all. Um, you can buy it. A lot lot like other games too, like Left 4 Dead. That, you know, Left 4 Dead 2, that got left out. That got canned from Australia. It was banned. You know, it's just, yeah, piss weak. So it's good good news for us uh, adult gamers or mature age gamers, however you want to look at it. So, yeah, that's basically what this video is for today. Just giving everyone an update that lives in Australia that was... Uh, that even, you know, if you care, it doesn't matter if you don't, I'm just pretty excited the fact that now we can, uh, it, we're not, you know, behind, we're no longer a third world gaming community, um, which is what we've been classed as, so, it's good, it's good to get out and uh, stretch the arms and uh, go and buy some R-rated games, which is good, uh, I'm not saying that, you know, the, the only thing that ban got banned from uh, Mortal Kombat, the only reason it got banned in Australia was due to the X-ray vision, now, come on, you know, seriously, that's just friggin' shit you know it's so cartoony you can tell it's not real yet they banned it anyways you're good on you and from some other games we've got fear 2 that or fear 2 yeah fear 2 got banned that got had to um get reclassified they had to delete some stuff and it's a bit of a piss week all around effort really anyways guys this video is just about wrapped up <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what you think of my mx skills on the simulator if you'd like to see some more of this or if you'd like to see me progress and get a little bit better maybe do some online racing um, but I suck pretty much right now, so I'm still learning. Anyways, guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, go back and check out my uh, latest challenge video as well. It's the chili and lemonade. Go check it out. Leave a comment below, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for uh, World Cup Wednesdays, guys. Cheers.
Uh, hey guys, cheers for watching. Don't forget to come and check me out on Twitter and Facebook. And if you like my videos, here's a couple of other ones you might be interested in. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll catch you next time. Cheers.